Hey everybody, this is Drew with Acoustic Collectibles. Welcome back to a brand new video. Uh, as a coin dealer, I started buying and selling coins that were very cheap and were appealing to many uh, newer collectors. Uh, these group of Morgans uh, aren't those types of coins. I'm very humbled and honored um, with the past few uh, months and actually over a year now that I've been selling coins. I'm moving into bigger and bigger investments for my customers. And I wanted to bring you guys along and show you exactly what coins I bought. Hope you guys enjoy this video. Hello, everybody. I just uh, brought these Morgans out for you guys. Really excited to show you these few uh, Morgans today and actually a dime as well. So this is the king of CCs, from what I heard. Um, I bought this recently because uh, I've been trying to move into bigger coins as of late. Um, the thing about uh, if, if you sold coins for a little bit, the thing that's a little bit tougher when you kind of go to deal and sell coins is that I could sell like, let's just say, like this Franklin half dollars. Just, just I say I spent like 60 bucks on it, I'm trying to get 80 for it. The amount of time you're going to spend trying to find an owner for this, trying to find someone that really enjoys it, it's not as it's pretty common. It's uh, you know, it's not rare. Um, it's going to take a while. It's going to take many postings. It's going to take uh, a good amount in shipping, and it's going to take a lot, a lot of your time. But for like uh, a key date Morgan, right, that everyone's trying to get for their set, and is very hard to find. Um, you know, a coin like this, people really, really do like. Um, and you could just see, I mean, it's not a burnt 1889 CC. When I mean, you kind of see some of these Morgans uh, that have been run through the muck, uh, they're really black and brown, which makes it very unappealing. But this coin is kind of, it's really appealing. A lot of hits on the face, uh, a little bit of a distracting mark right by the chin. But overall, a really nice coin. Um, when I saw the coin, I was like, you know what, if I get it for the right price, I threw it out there, the price I wanted to pay, and the owner said, yeah, yeah, I'll do that, and I actually bought a few things from him uh, on Instagram, his name is Riley, I really appreciate it, Riley, for helping me out with this coin. Next, we're moving into another crazy CC Morgan. <laughs> this is an 1891cc, uh, not a spitting eagle, but uh, still a fantastic coin. Uh, it's a dimple, MS63 dimple. I like this coin a lot because of the flashiness to it. And the premium for a dimple over a regular 91cc is pretty high. So, like I said, it takes a lot of less work, right, to list things and sell them. But if you find a coin that everyone likes, uh, it's very flashy, great example, uh, like this coin, people are going to jump on it quick. So I had this for about two hours today, and then someone wrote me and said, hey, how much is it? He knocked me down a little bit, and it sold very quickly, maybe a couple hundred bucks like this. You know what I mean? So if you're wanting to become a dealer, I would say start off on the small stuff. That's okay. You know, do that. Uh, start to get kind of a, a, a group together of who you sell to, who you buy from. There's going to be a certain time in your dealing life, I guess, is when you're going to be buying coins like this because you'll feel comfortable buying coins like this. You'll feel comfortable with the way of payment. You'll feel comfortable in the way of knowing price guides and gray sheet and a whole bunch of other stuff. But I plan to make a video kind of showing you guys how I price things out and how I find what's worth buying and what's not worth buying. Um, and if something's a good deal or not. So I hope you guys tune into that video when it is created. So I'm going to show you a few more Key Date Morgans. Uh, this is an 1884S. I got this in today as well. Um, the big bump is kind of when it goes to AU58, um, but i kind of been playing around with uh, AU55 1884S Morgans because... Um, this is kind of the last grade before it's a $2,000 coin. So um, I'm kind of at the range of buying coins $2,000 and less, finding them for customers, and 
this coin was priced just right. The guy didn't want to see it anymore, and I was like, okay, I'll I'll take it up and uh, I'll find someone for it. And it's still pretty flashy for an AU coin. Um, it's got a few distracting kind of dark spot on the face, a little bit of dark around these stars, which kind of makes it unattractive. But if you buy the coin for the right price, like I said, um, you won't have a problem making money on it. And I think this coin will do uh, do very well with my customer base that I've developed. So really, really nice coin. And yeah. So I want to show off uh, two more coins. One's a real flasher. Got this one off eBay for pretty cheap. Uh, I normally don't buy 1880s, 1881s, uh, any more common date kind of stuff. This is a common date, but not very common for PL. Um, you can kind of tell that it's, it's starting to look really. It's really, really frosty. I keep saying really, really. I apologize. It's frosty on the obverse. Uh, nice luster. And I got it for a good price on eBay, which is surprising. Sent them an offer and they took it. It's got some toning on the reverse. Toning I'm not really a fan of. If it was a pretty toning, I'd like it. But it's kind of a distracting toning. But holder, holder, clean holder, beautiful coin. Um, it kind of almost pairs a little bit with the, the dimple. Uh, the, the fields are just not as far out as a dimple would be. A PL is only about 4 inches away, and dimple is about 8 inches away. So, But the, the, the fields are really dark and really beautiful and she is a stunner so the last one I got it for really cheap my Riley just threw this in for almost for free for me it's a 1878 CC dime so I haven't really handled any dimes as of late just because gray sheets very strange so gray sheet is gonna want you to pay an enormous price on something even if you're paying gray sheet bid and then when you go to price guides price guides are like half like if there's a dime they said it's worth 2100 it's selling for 800 and then gray sheet's going to say like 2500 so stuff like that is just very strange with dimes but riley just said hey you want this for this much i'll throw it in cheap and i'm like you know what i'll mess with it and i haven't really messed with anything cc related that's not a morgan dollar so this coin's kind of nice and the, the, the reason why I said there's like a burnt feel to a coin, this is a burnt feel. So you see how it's kind of black, dark, brown. And then when you see a coin almost in similar grain, let me find this uh, CC right here. Yeah, let me back this up a little bit. But you can kind of see it's a little bit darker. And then when you see this, this VF20 here, it's very original. It went through the muck. It went through um, some issues on this side. Uh, it just got really dark over time. Uh, this one went through circulation, wasn't like, you know, left out in the sun. Um, it's just, it's more original and people like that more than finding like a burnt, almost a burnt coin like this one. And it's gotten really dark and unappealing. So that's kind of the difference between the two. And, uh, yeah. So this is a really nice group of coins that I had today. I'm very glad I was able to show you all. Wow. Those were beautiful. Huh. Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like, comment which uh, coin was your favorite, and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.